Hey everyone, it's Alexis, and I know I may not say like it to y'all, but this is like the first time I've vlogged recently in a few months. So by the time you guys see this, the last vlog would be like a like compilation of like three separate vlogs and then one like sit and chat that I just never got around to editing and I just made one huge video out of it. So, so far I have about two and a half hours of raw footage on that, I haven't like even started editing that yet. But I just feel like in these last few months things have just felt a little bit chaotic. I will say that one thing as a small business owner is that I at some point got very disorganized with everything and this is just me being very honest with you guys. Like stuff like my stock keeping and like financial records and stuff like that is just a mess. So I've been trying to like figure all that stuff out, finish revising new things, also planning for this April launch, then making those products and then kind of adjusting to my new schedule without having to factor school in so it's just been a lot for me to balance but as I told you guys and kind of like that life update I have been getting back into stuff like reading and just having leisure time so it hasn't been just like super chaotic but it's just been kind of like an odd time so I guess I just thought I would have so much like hustle and bustle it's just been very interesting so last night I went through and I started to sort my last minute like things for May before I show you guys that I do want to just show you guys some stuff I've been reading in March I think I read 13 books this month so far I think I've read three finished three so I am reading this Alex Ryder book which my friend gave to me to like read for a little bit and then I'm gonna start this one this is a library book I haven't started any of the books that I had bought from the bookstore the other day but whenever I get to those I will show you guys so another thing is that I've just been trying to like get my home together as well so I have everything everywhere so a few weeks ago I sorted this big old pile of stuff <laughs> not this not my crackers but just like a big old pile of stuff stuff that I'm gonna have out and I have a lot of my stuff on my Grimsy cart down there and then last night this is what I got around to so I did my whole May goal thing and so I have a certain amount of each type of product in here so in this container I have my fishtail loom bracelets just a handful of pony bee loom bracelets some phone straps I need to add more to that in this container I have stuff set aside for a mystery bag which is one of the new items launching this April now you can't see it but this bottom barrel has stuff like earrings and keychains stuff like that so yeah i'm just trying to get everything adjusted get everything sorted taken care of but i'll be honest sometimes i just kind of don't feel like doing it i gotta tell you guys today is april 14th it's sunday april 14th so i have about two more weeks until it launches officially up and it's not a lot but i guess i just had a lot of like last minute changes one thing i thought i was gonna launch but i'm not is pom-pom keychains it's rocket science to make those like they look easy but i think maybe i have the wrong string for it so i'm gonna switch that out and i think i may replace them with just bookmarks like very cheap bookmarks kind of last minute but it works and then there's some things that I did not think I was gonna seriously like to do like I made some limited edition beaded bracelets and then pony bee loom bracelets and I literally love them so much it's like I'm not sure if I should make them a standard product because I don't want to have just like one design over and over again it would be nice if like maybe I had like a, a random pack of three beaded bracelets for whatever so I think I may do that but all I know is that today I still need to make so I need to make Heishi beaded bracelets and then I need to make bookmarks and then I need to what else there's something else I'm missing then just need to make a little bit more of everything and then just like photograph everything so tomorrow I'll be photographing and uploading that doing complete website revisions and then since today is Sunday I guess tomorrow Monday I do have a few things like short form content ready then I'm just gonna start getting back to the flow of just posting things then by the time the launch comes then maybe my algorithm will be will have that consistency so that I'll be able to pop up on more people's feeds as opposed to just kind of waiting until that time comes I might just spam a whole bunch of like content this week but I feel like I'm just getting back into that mindset of like hustling especially since now like I'm just looking at just like weird like post grad but also with what I want to do for school and school for psychology so I already knew that like with psychology it's kind of like a, a tricky career because you have to go back and get your master's if you want to be a psychologist so right now in this in between it's like it's so hard to find like a, a job that like actually wants to pay you for your skills as someone who has other things in mind I've never been big on like the whole job searching like I really haven't been looking the last few months but at the same time sometimes I think about like if I didn't have like a small business or if I didn't have like art and stuff like that 
that like and all of my eggs were in this one basket I feel like I would be so overwhelmed and stressed and broke and so I really 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 want to scale up with like this small business and then also just do better like my art and just anything else like if, it, if I can make money off of social media like I would do that too because honestly it just looks like nowadays you really can't succeed in life without like non-traditional jobs like social media and stuff like that because it's like traditional jobs even if you have a good paying traditional job you still have to make so many other sacrifices and it's like you are going to be severely unhappy in some way but there are people that they literally stream and I'm not saying that they don't have problems because I know they have to do stuff like stalkers and but it's like they can actually do something they love and make a comfortable living off of that. But I could sit here and like slave for a job and I can be so unhappy and I can barely pay my bills. And it's like, I hate to think like that, but it's like, to me, going to be a psychologist is more of like, I care about the community type of thing. But I feel like everything else I want to do, I feel like my passion for being an entrepreneur and just stuff like art and all that has strengthened so much over the last few years. And to me, I look at that as more like my passion, my like career that makes sense and I feel like I need to start acting in that sense so another thing I do want to be serious about is that you guys know for the longest time I've been talking about selling so I just realized that it is better for me to wait to the end of April so as you guys know I do live in Augusta Georgia and don't stop me but right now it's the master so as someone who's like born and raised in Augusta like it doesn't bother me especially because this year is really not as bad like traffic and stuff like that Usually it's like on oh, Washington Road. Washington Road is already like bad on a daily basis. But like during the Masters, honey, you will never move. I'm just sitting here and I'm like, it's better for me to just wait because by the time, say like really early May comes, I'll have that launch done so I can showcase my new products without dipping into my inventory. I'll have all of my inventory set aside for like what I intend on selling for the month. And then on top of that, I'll just have a little bit more time to prepare. I'll get back to you guys later on because right now I'm going to start working on something else. <laughs> I have a lot of cleaning to do. So I'll, I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to start working on my products. Hello everybody, so it's been a couple of days, but I've been a little bit of a personal rut, don't ask me, I'm okay, thank you, um, but I've been trying to get everything together, as I told you guys a while back, I kind of feel a little bit disorganized, so I've been trying to just kind of finalize final details for the launch and just kind of have an idea of uh, how many things I want to sell minimum for the month of May. So I really don't care to sell until about the end of April. But I was just sitting here about an hour ago and, you know, it's the five year anniversary. I've been saying that for months. But it's just kind of crazy because it kind of feels like, how do I say it? It doesn't feel like I've had a small business for the last five years. It's more of like a kind of in and out side hustle. But I feel like now it's like I'm actually trying to make it a small business. Like I have the energy, the commitment to go all the way if that makes sense and I actually just want to do things that maybe I was a little bit too timid to do a while ago so even though it's like year five it kind of feels like year one like literally five years ago I was sitting here doing last minute things stressing about a launch and just kind of like just kind of <laughs> popped up on the 29th 30th of April and just went for it and honestly I don't regret anything I feel like having this small business has kept me stable more stable than maybe I would have been without it and I've learned so much from it just having the discipline to take care of everything and I'm just excited to see where the next I don't know year five years holds for me in this business so okay ignore all of this but uh, I've just been sorting out last minute things for April launch and then all these mystery bags which is one of the products launching and this is like my monthly sales chart so you guys can't see everything but it's just an idea of what I need to look at before I package everything and I do want to show you guys some of my cute packaging that I'm going to have for the launch so for my mystery bags I will be using these like little holographic bags I bought these like two or three years ago and I just never used them so a few months ago I was like these would be perfect for the mystery bags because they're like special if that makes sense and they're also pretty eye-catching one thing I did mess up on is a few months ago I showed you guys that I printed off these cards with the logo on it and literally I made them the exact size as this not realizing that it's the size of the whole package and not just the inside so I was planning on like putting those slips inside so that the products would be in there and then there would be like a slip covering in if that makes sense but they don't fit 
So I think instead of just like redoing those, I'm just going to put them over it and maybe I'll just put like a little thin piece of washi tape over it. So that way like it is still covered but it's also not wasting all those cards I already printed out. But that was just such a stupid decision on my part. And then I bought these boxes a few months ago. These are boxes that I was like, I'm either gonna use for my crafts, if I have like more than one craft per box, or for these bigger mystery boxes. So this is what they look like flat. And then they look like this. Once they're folded up. So I have to get tape to put on the bottom right here. And then I have this up top. So I think what I'm gonna do is get some washi tape like the thick washi tape so i only have thin ones and i want to like put it on the bottom because i think since this is already like a pretty plain box i would rather have something that's like more pretty if that makes sense so that also gives me an excuse to spend some girl money <laughs> and so i think this gives like a good like amount of room to put my products in there i'm not going to show you guys the whole process because i am high key losing storage on my phone so i'll just have to show you guys my progress for tonight i'm only going to start all of these and then also for my other products i have more bracelets and bracelets and pony bead looms i have pretty much everything to do one more thing that i will be doing in is I decided to switch out my pom-pom keychain idea to bookmarks so I just whipped up these few cute ideas on Canva so I have five that I might make a standard product and two that will only be like either like freebies or just in like a mystery box so I'm gonna get those started and I'm gonna print those off but the thing is, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to have tassel or no tassel? Because I feel like tassel is a little bit extra, but it's also kind of like, would they be too plain? And then I'm going to print them off with my sturdy paper, so they're not going to be as like, you know. But then it's like, should I laminate them? Because I got a lamination machine, but would that be like, doing too much? It... I'll just show you guys whenever I have things together. So you're not going to have like a pretty montage of everything, but I will show you guys an update in a few days. I have to edit so many different videos, and once I get my storage space together, then I'll come back and show you guys my progress. everybody so today is monday and i have been working on these bracelets the other day i got a few regular beaded bracelets done i got some pony bee loom bracelets like this done and then i made some hashi beaded bracelets and then i made some bookmarks the other day so i made a lot of good progress and i just have a few more of those pony bee ones to do but today I stopped by Walmart and I bought some like sturdy washi tape, duct tape for my mystery boxes. When I was doing them the other day, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need something to stick the bottom, which I did think about. So I bought two of them. This first one has like a floral pattern to it. I love that, so pretty. And then this second one is more galaxy themed. The only thing about these tapes is that they smell terrible. I think that's just like a duct tape thing, but it, it literally smells awful. This is the duck brand, by the way, but these smell horrendous. So, 
I don't know if I should like do something like maybe add like a little fragrance but I also don't want anything that may have like allergens or anything that may irritate the skin or you know so I'm going to just seal up at least the bottoms of all of my boxes and so that way I can go ahead and start I did stop by the storage unit today and I got probably like 24 more boxes so I already had six in my room I have 24 about today so it's a total of 30 and I'm gonna just try to finish working on these mystery bags mystery boxes and I think for the most part I'll be done with like the major making I think everything is finalized but I have still been making like last minute changes besides like the actual photography because I started to take a photo of them the other day but I just kind of didn't like them so those would just be additional photos I was thinking about like instead of just having like mystery boxes and bags for those limited edition products I was thinking about maybe also having like value sets this is something I was thinking about when I was thinking about um doing the mystery bags to begin with but like I actually want something where like hey you can just buy like an individual like pointy bead loom bracelet you don't know what it is but that's what you're gonna get or you can buy like I don't know like a three pack of hey she beaded bracelets and it's like a markdown price so you're saving money so I'm trying to figure out like should I like last minute squeeze I did now so I'm thinking that for me what works best is always having many deadlines so I think when I plan something that's too far ahead like all of my launches it's always like hard for me to do it but if I say well this month we're doing the major launch the next month's gonna be like a smaller one next month small one the month after that a bigger one I think that'll work for me so this month would be like a big launch next month I can launch like the value sets and then the month after that maybe I can have a drop and then when July comes I'll have another big launch so I'm thinking that'll work for me that way it gives me time to like make a sufficient amount of product but also not like going too long without advertising new products or whatever because I feel like I'm someone that I work better with new stuff because it's kind of hard for me to advertise old stuff if that makes sense so anyways I'm just kind of figuring out all of this and once I'm like pretty done I'll get back to you guys good morning everybody so last night i went ahead and i duct taped all the boxes together and then i started working on a few more pony bee loom bracelets this is what i have so far and then i've just been working on this like little pile of stuff right here i finished these last set of pony bee loom bracelets and so now i'm just gonna add them to my set and i'm done with all of these i'm gonna make some more hasty beaded bracelets some more regular beaded bracelets some more phone straps and that should be pretty much it hey everybody so it's been a few days today is it's Friday, April 25th. So in the last few days, I've been, of course, finishing making products. I still have a few more that I want to make uh, just for my personal quota. But then the other day, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but I finished putting tissue paper in all of them. And then I also sealed off the bottom so that nothing is showing. And then I took out what I had already started because I wanted to just have a better look at all of my products. The other day, I photographed my products, which I had a whole bunch of beautiful pictures. And then yesterday, I went through and did website revisions. So the only thing I have to do now is just update the pictures, product descriptions. Then I'm going to take a few things off my website. I decided to make some more last minute products, just add to my whole thing since I got done with the hard part a little bit quicker now the only thing i need to do is of course i need to do all these mystery boxes and bags but first i need to put all of them in like their little packaging earlier today i've been cleaning my room today so everything is like literally everywhere but in a very like it's organized and neat type of way so <laughs> i went ahead and did all these cards so i have some for the beaded bracelets and they look like that kind of like the chain link bracelets then i made new tags for the mystery bags ones that fit properly then i have some for my bookmarks ones for my phone strap special ones for the smiley bracelets and then i just print out some more limited edition cards because i don't know what the other ones i had were and then a few months ago i never told you guys but i bought some of those circular label stickers for the monthly printers so I went ahead and I made a design for these earlier. So I'm going to try to print off like maybe one or two of these to see how it looks. I pretty much have the main logo with the like lady in the middle and then around it's like 
thank you for your purchase made into it with love near you and craft so it's really pretty it's like an all-around type of thing i'm gonna see if that works and then if it does i'm gonna put it on all of my mystery boxes and then also my mystery bags and then every time somebody purchases an order it'll be on all the bags as well i think this will be a nice small touch to add the other day i finally uploaded that life lately studio vlog and it did really really good um so i had that big studio vlog i need to edit and upload i'm kind of just nervous about everything i just feel like it's a lot it's a lot going on but i'm also like very excited i am going to see if i can start selling in may maybe the capitalism has taken over but i no longer feel overwhelmed by the idea of what if things don't work out it's like girl it's the usa <laughs> so i am i just want to branch out because i just feel like settling for less at a job i don't like and i really couldn't pay for anything it's just like it's so dumb and it's like this is what i actually really do like to do but then also it's like i can actually make real money from this even if it is like a side thing it's like that's still more than i'm making now so it's better to try and to not try and if things don't work out but i feel very confident in it and who knows what things look like next month or in the next six months or in the next year i just look forward to everything and being back on social media has been pretty fun too um i'm not consistent but i'm also not trying to like force myself to do like a post every single day or whatever just going at a, a pace that works for me and i think it's been working out lately but right now that's the only update i have i have thought about it one cool tiktok short form content idea to do is oh make a mystery bag with me so it's kind of like those package of blah 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 with me but even if i don't get like an order i'm still technically packaging so your girl is moving up hey everybody so it's been a few days and i don't even remember exactly where i left off but as you guys know it's launch day today is monday april 29th and i've just been working on a lot of things last minute in these last few days i have been pretty much pre-selling up products working on social media content including a lot of short form content which i'm so proud of i started working on my mystery boxes mystery bags here's what the little mystery bags look like I finally got my Mumbin printer working the other days. At first I was kind of struggling, but I printed off these little stickers that look like this. They are so beautiful and on them it says, Lanier's doing crafts. Thank you for supporting my small business. This package was sealed with love. And I made this on Canva and I got the actual stickers themselves from Walmart, they're Mumbin. And again, for all of them, I will have like a bag like this, put a sticker at the bottom so it's certified. And then I do the same thing with the mystery boxes. So another thing is that I reprinted the cards for this. I don't know if I told you guys that the other day, but I reprinted the card for this and it looks so much better in there. Then today, this morning actually, I was just finishing, <laughs> I was just finishing pre-packaging these. So I have all of my like beaded bracelets finally packaged, including the Heishi ones. And I'm not gonna lie, I have pulled a few bracelets to the side. So I have a smiley bracelet for myself, the rainbow smiley. Then I have two of the Heishi beaded bracelets for myself. Fun fact, this is the very first one I made. And when I made it, I was like, this is so cute. I kind of want it. I'm buying it. So this is about $15 worth of goods right here. I'm not supporting my own small business, but it's been nice to see the support I've had. The only thing about it is just today's been slow. I made my launch day today because I wanted to go for the date, like not exactly on the anniversary, but you know, but I just, I didn't really think about the fact that like 8 a.m. on a Monday, people at work. Uh, <laughs> so it's been pretty slow, but I'm not really heard about it. I have just been enjoying the day. I think the best thing about being done with the launch is that you are done. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, putting stuff in the system, which I've been doing. So much inventory to do, product descriptions. Oh, my gosh, the photography. The other day, I don't know if I told you guys that, but I did all my photography in, like, 40 minutes, which 
I've updated my website and everything. I need to go ahead and finish some more stuff because I have all my stuff listed, but I don't actually have a lot of them done in terms of my mystery bags and my mystery boxes. So I'm going to finish those over the next few days and hopefully things sell, hopefully things are organized and I just look forward to everything and I'm going to see if I can find any like events I can sell at besides the flea market. But with that being said, I am going to go ahead and start prepping for next month's mini launch. So next month, I think I'm just going to have value sets. If I change my mind, I'm going to just do something else. Another thing I want to do is that a lot of my products that I kind of had were like excess standard products. Besides like a lot of the newer stuff like the HGB Beauty bracelets and the Pony Bee Looms. So I think I'm going to go and just buy a bunch of charms. If I can find them on Timu, I'm going to get them on Timu. Or just somewhere cheap like Walmart or whatever. I like both the like very like cheap looking like let me see if I can show you guys one. I actually do like the style of very cheap looking like costume jewelry. But I also do like stuff like this with the words on it. Like that's so cute. Even though these are cheaper beads too. I'm going to just see if I can just buy a lot of charms. Make up more charm keychains. Make up earrings. So that again is just completely random. I don't know. I think that'll be fun. Something to like do that's not like the same stuff over and over again gonna work on restocking some of my old products and i think that should be it but if you guys like to support my small business again we are on youtube as you guys can see instagram tiktok and pinterest and everything should be lanier's drew and crafts lanier's jc and if you guys want to purchase all of my goods everything is affordable i have stuff as cheap as three and five dollars and i have stuff that's as costly as 25 so another thing if you guys want a mystery bag mystery bags are ten dollars if you guys want the mystery box, that is the $25 item, and I would say it's a good value, good buy. And for every $10 you spend, you get a freebie sticker. So, <laughs> again, thank you guys for supporting me so far, or if you guys come for the future, thanks for supporting me in the future. And with that being said, thank you guys for everything. I cannot wait to officially celebrate five years tomorrow. I guess this is coming out after. I... <laughs> By the time you guys see this, I would have been celebrating <laughs> yesterday. Y'all have a great day. Thank you guys for watching and bye.